New info tonight about that fire that sparked in Roxborough yesterday, but was quickly contained by fire crews. Yeah, tonight we know that it was started by birds that were electrocuted by power lines, and it is at least the third time so far this summer that a wildfire has started in Colorado in that same way. Tonight, Fox 31's Greg Nieto is diving into this growing problem and what can be done about it. He joins us live all new tonight at 9. Greg. Yeah, Erica, we actually spoke with the head of that power utility company. He says, really, this is a catch-22 scenario. The key is to try to reduce the odds. This is a piece of equipment that we're using right now as a mock-up. Core Electric Cooperative Mark Jurgenmeyer giving us a closer look at the most likely scenario as to how at least one bird touches a power pole and another bird at the same time yesterday afternoon, electrocuting them both falling to the ground and igniting the dry grass below in the Roxborough area. If a bird is on one wire, it's just fine. It's when it touches two that it has a problem. A total of four birds found at the base of the pole. Here is a picture of that pole provided by CORE. Today, engineers and linemen now taking a closer look at the mock-up to see how to improve upon proactive protective coating covers already in place. Kind of like if you look at the wiring in your house, if you open a light switch, you have the, the copper wire that has that red or white or black or whatever insulation on it. We do the same thing with those wires at the pole. The fire itself grew to just under 35 acres. It was put out relatively quickly by local firefighters. Now there aren't a ton of homes in this area, but there are a handful from where we're standing that you can see on the other side of this road. Although not entirely uncommon, CORE has seen this kind of bird electrocution equation before this year, including earlier in the year in buyers. We are now adding this over the whole thing like this in response to buyers. In response to buyers. Looking down the road, CORE is trying to figure out how to decrease the chances of this scenario seeing the light of day again. It really is a constant effort for us to get better and improve and we're trying. A total of 43 firefighters were needed to put out that blaze. The helicopter crew from Douglas County being credited with an assist. Greg Neptal, Fox 31.